I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a couple of uh, multiple choice questions in this particular video. It is going to be a bit long and we are going to discuss as we solve these multiple choice questions some techniques which are going to help us in curve sketching. We will analyze first and second derivative to understand what the function should look like. So we are kind of doing reverse calculation in these videos to understand our function better and to get the meaning of first and second derivative. Okay, Here is the first multiple choice question. Given graph of f dash x that means derivative of the function find the degree and the turning points of the polynomial f of x. So we have a graph of derivative of a polynomial. You need to find the degree of the polynomial itself along with the number of turning points. The choices are degree 3 turning point 2, degree 3 turning point 3, degree 4 turning point 3, degree 2 turning point 1. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Okay, first thing is we are given the derivative and from this example we know that this polynomial is a cubic function right so so what we are given here is the derivative of a cubic function is that okay so what do you expect function should be so the function will be one degree higher so we are expecting a quartic function is it okay that means degrees degrees 4 correct so we have quartic function degree 4 well here there's only one which gives so most probably that is the answer but let's work on turning points now so the function is always one degree higher than its derivative okay turning points turning points are at places where the derivative is zero right so these are the zeros for the derivative and they define your turning point do you see that these are your turning points so we have three turning points now as an added exercise I would like you to sketch the quadratic function whose derivative can look like this okay so that is an added exercise and that is an extension to this multiple choice question you can clearly see that at minus 2 as far as your first derivative is concerned it goes from negative to positive so the derivative goes from negative to positive negative means kind of like this and positive means the function should be increasing so we have a local minimum here is it okay and at this point we are going from positive to negative right so we are going from positive to negative so we have a maximum here and at this point we are going from negative to positive so we have another local minimum right so we have two minimums is it okay local minimums they could be absolute minimum also I'm not saying that but definitely uh, and we have a maximum which also will be a local maximum is it okay so I could sketch rough roughly the graph uh, so we are not really bothered about uh, the values here so we have a minimum here this really shows that the function is decreasing I mean negative shows the function is decreasing over this interval and we have a local minimum so we could do like this we could just go like this so that becomes a local minimum here we're expecting a local maximum at this place and a local minimum here and that seems to be the one of these uh, quartic functions whose graph could be as given right so this is uh, one of our functions is it okay so we have one two three turning points do you see these three turning points which corresponds to these three zeros in the derivative so that's a very important concept so whenever you have a function if you get first derivative then zeros of the derivative may give rise to local maximum or minimum correct so we've done that analysis here let's move on to the next question I hope you appreciate it right next one here is 
again we are given derivative of a function it seems to be the same kind of function okay given a function given graph of f prime x in what interval is the graph of f of x decreasing so this time we are going to answer a different question we already know that the function is quartic as you have seen earlier and it says in what interval is the function decreasing we are given graph of its derivative correct so well decreasing means that the derivative should be less than zero right negative so so the derivative as you can see is negative in this part correct it is negative in this part is it okay and that means it is decreasing from minus infinity to minus 2 and from 0 to 2 so that becomes the right choice do you see that now if you recall uh, what we had shown this diagram as earlier kind of like this is it okay we had made a graph which was kind of uh, like this okay whatever you can see very clearly that the function decreases this is decreasing do you see that decreasing decreasing means you have to see from left to right and that's the turning point is it okay corresponding to the zero and it's also decreasing here correct so that is decreasing do you get the idea so that's the meaning of decreasing i hope the concept is clear first derivative also helps to figure out if the function is increasing or decreasing do you get an idea right now let's look into the third multiple choice question which is given the second derivatives now we're talking about second derivative right this is second derivative in what interval is the function concave up so when the second derivative is positive it could be positive or negative is that okay and it could be zero also so concave up when it is positive concave down when it is negative and second derivative could have point of inflection when the second derivative is zero right can have it is not necessary where the concavity changes right change in concavity in concavity that is point of inflection is it okay now if you analyze this we want to find where is it concave up so basically we want to see where this derivative is positive clearly it is positive from minus 2 to plus 2 do you see that so during this interval the function should be concave up right so from minus 2 to 2 so we have a choice c here do you see that so that is the portion where the function should be concave up right now this is the second derivative so the derivative will be a cubic function right and the function will be quartic function do you get an idea anyway now as an exercise what you have to do is and that is a test question for you sketch the derivative of this function right and also the function itself do you see that sketch the derivative we have the second derivative sketch the derivative now zeros for the second derivative becomes the turning point for the derivative do you understand and this negative this portion is concave down this is concave up for the function so these two things should help you to sketch the derivative and the function from the second derivative so that is an exercise for you to do and this is where we are going to end this video i like you to watch you know, all other videos on curve sketching you can search for anil kumar curve sketching playlist to get into my list of videos i hope that will really help you feel free to share my videos with your friends write comments and if you like I'll be very happy to see that. Thank you and all the best.